Since 1971, Ryerson University in Toronto has been producing generations of Canadian actors, dancers, and designers. Every year, thousands of young people audition. Few are accepted. It's a grueling program. But when theatre is in your blood, there is no cure. This week, the Mercer Report returns to the stage. I learn my lines and try not to bump into the furniture. This is Peggy Shannon. She is chair of the School of Performance at Ryerson University. Peggy, hello. How are you? Hello. I am great. Talk to me about the what the students are studying here. They're getting a BFA, right? They're getting a Bachelor of Fine Arts in, in what? Acting, dance, and uh, production and design. Now, I've showed up on a very calm day <laughs> because you're about to have a dress rehearsal yes. for your big production, yes. which is, in the world of theater, this is the worst day possible for anything out of the ordinary to occur. Pretty much. And we're here. Hello, who are you? I'm good. I'm Perry Schneiderman. This is a legend, Perry. <clears throat> yes, nice I to am. see you. You've been around. Yes, I have. I even taught Alan Hawker, who you know. Alan Hawker, you he, you probably taught him at the at the National, National Theatre School. National yeah, I was there School. before I was here. What are you teaching here today? I'm teaching mask. I'm teaching mask character mask. Do they do scene work? Like, do I put on a mask and a student puts they on do a mask? Improvisation. They improv. Now we've seen you, unmasked. Let's see you <laughs> masked. Okay. Now, what kind of fellow are you? Well, I'm a grade nine science teacher. I uh, work at Point Peel. And, uh, you know, I teach kids, you know, about sedimentary rocks. And My name is Harold. Harold? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You don't like being on camera, do you, Harold? Oh, it's making you no, nervous. I was, didn't know I was going to be. You don't have to be nervous. What's your wife's name, Francesca? Uh, no, Francine. 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 He and Francine have a bit of a troubled relationship. Oh, oh I see. Well, Come on, come no, on, admit why it. Is that? Well, no, it's just, she just is a little pushy sometimes. Do you find it easier? Doing a character like that with the mask on? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'd be a little more nervous doing a character like that in front of the camera? Yeah, it's sort of like improvising is easier almost. Like you're not sure these things that come into my head, it feels like I wouldn't have them here as Nick right now. Now are any of you in the in the Jack and the Beanstalk yeah. production? They all are. You all are. Okay, come over, come over. We gotta talk about this. This is outrageous. You have you have your dress rehearsal tonight with an audience. Yeah. yeah. And now you have me here because you don't want to be distracted. No. What's so cool about this production especially is this, is it's for children. Right. So it's very interactive. And this is a big, big theater. This is how many oh. seats? How many seats? 1,200. 1,200 seats. Yeah, it's huge. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot of folks. Do you get nervous before you go out there? For sure. You do? Absolutely. Yeah, do we have any pukers here? No, definitely. I mean, <laughs> they exist. They I, I, I know, I know some. Yeah, I know a couple too. They're not here right now. Okay, well, thanks very much, and I'll see you on the boards. Yeah. And this is fourth year production student Ria Ostrowski. Hello, Ria. How are you? Good, how are you? I am excellent. What's your job on this production, Jack? I'm the Beanstalk. costume designer. That is a huge job. Yeah. How many actors do you have to design costumes for? Well, there's 23, and it's double casted, so it's 46 roles. At least 46. At least 46. And this is a pantomime, which means the costumes are... Outrageous. Completely outrageous. Yeah. There is nothing subtle about pantomime. No, not at no. all. <laughs> I will be taking part in the pantomime, and, uh, and I'm sure I'll be fine, because I'm a trained professional. What are my options? Well, I can show you your options. Yes, I see, and I would be a, a plant. You'd be a beanstalk operator for our beanstalk. I see, so I'll pass on the bride. You will, okay, well, I think you'd look great in this, to be honest. Well, that's very nice of you, but... Mm. This could be you, I think this... Is there gender well. bending in this production? It is, pantomime's very, like, drag in a way. Okay. So all, like, the big, loud female characters are played by men. I don't want to take the role of the king away well, from a fourth-year student and destroy his dreams, but if I have to, I must! <laughs> And we're on the big stage. This is one of the choreographers, Natasha Poon Wu. Hello, Natasha. Hi, Rick. Nice to see you. Well, I will do whatever you tell me to do. All what right. kind of things will I have to draw on? I have a background in tap. Okay. Uh, by background, I mean I did it once for about four hours <laughs> many years ago. Okay. Well, having rhythm is good. There's okay. Gonna be, gonna I didn't say I had rhythm. Work. I did not say that. There's going to be a little bit of trotting, so making sure. Trotting. A little prancing. 
Prancing is my middle name. Now I'm concerned that if Dallas is here, mm -hmm. the audience won't be able to see me. That will happen in due time. Okay. We've got a key moment. We call this, he's blocking me. <laughs> These two are gonna trot in, Okay. walk towards them, and then you're gonna play a little fake piano. So you're the back of the cow. Yeah. So the audition went well. <laughs> One on the wall, right? No way, I'm doing this. And then left, and then Greg's gonna give you his leg. Okay, you're Greg. You're gonna grab onto his leg like you're gonna play the guitar, and you get to play air guitar. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. It's showtime. Two, three, four. She had a farm. And on that farm, she had a cow. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. She really, really loved that cow. <laughs> Old Dame Trot, she loved that cow. Mercer Report on CBC, Ryerson!